What's up? My name is Eric Butler. This channel is called Report and Opine. I am back. And from the Washington Free Beacon, how Biden's green energy economy is benefiting left-wing billionaires. Democrat megadonors Bill Gates and Lauren Powell Jobs see green energy investments flooded with taxpayer cash. Wow, crazy stuff, right? Who could imagine that these people are all working together to make sure that you live in the pod and eat the bugs and don't leave home without the pharmaceuticals? It's all benefiting them. Right. Meanwhile, the price of eggs is through the roof. We're not even talking about that anymore. We're not talking about the baby formula shortage anymore. These things only last for a week until they foist on another thing that you're supposed to talk about. Meanwhile, they're cleaning up. They're eating your lunch and mine, too, obviously. President Joe Biden's taxpayer funded push to build a clean energy economy, which, of course, means nothing. It is one more of their weirdo Democratic doublespeak euphemisms that doesn't have any meaning it just sounds good and some people are still stupid enough to buy it the equality act things like that they're all completely fake assault rifle these things they just make up gender affirming care they make it up and i guess it sounds kind of good so some people are like yeah, yeah yeah let's do that that makes sense even though it doesn't it makes no sense if you take if you take half a second to think about anything these people pitch none of it makes any sense but they get away with it somehow some way I, you kind of got to give it to them. They know something that I don't, clearly. The clean energy economy is benefiting the left's most prominent billionaire mega donors, including Bill Gates, Lauren Powell Jobs, Washington Free Beacon analyst, analysis found. Biden's energy department has in the last two months announced nearly $3 billion in loans to two electric battery companies, Redwood Materials and Ioneer, which are backed by seed funding from Gates Jobs and other left-wing billionaires. And I'm wondering, how many non-left-wing billionaires are there? Honest question, I don't know. Kanye West was a billionaire. Not anymore. He didn't play the game. So they made sure that to take, take as much away from him. I mean, they're still trying to... This all, of course, still stems from him wearing a red hat. Every single thing that they're doing still comes from him not saying that Hillary Clinton is the best thing and clapping like a seal and hanging out with Jay-Z and Beyonce and doing weirdo stuff like that. He saw through it, went to God and they hate him for it. But that's not what this is about. Now those billionaires who have poured millions into the effort to win Democrats' power in Washington are likely are likely set to see a handsome profit from their initial investment. Ioneer, for example, won a $700 million loan from Biden and saw its stock price increase by 33% after the announcement. Wow, oh, what a dink! What a coincidence. It's almost like what Governor Kickback Kathy Holchel was doing in New York. One of her donors magically gets an exclusive Rona testing contract or whatever. And, and I wish that, I wish that's all it was. I wish it was just a couple backdoor deals. I wish it were just a little bit of skimming off the top, a little bit of insider trading. But we've gone so far off the edge, so far off the cliff that they're trying to turn little boys into little girls. They're telling you that you can't drive a car, you can't eat certain food, you can't have a gas stove. The list goes on and on and on, right? Right. You could have just you could have just got into a position of power and made a little money and left us alone. And that could go on forever. But you got too greedy. And now people are finally starting to push back. And we're 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 basically smack dab in CW2. But also that's a little bit different story. But it stems from stuff like this. This is so corrupt. The Biden crime family is at it again, which is surprising. I don't know who's really controlling it because that man can't even put together a sentence. Did, was he so well versed? Was he so slick in his younger days that he set up deals decades in advance? Who's running? Is it Jill? Is it Hunter? Who, is it his brother? How is this actually happening? Is it Kamala? I don't know. Biden's energy department is funding Redwood and Ioneer through its loan programs office, which is no stranger to controversy. Under, under former President Barack Obama, the office approved a $529 million loan to electric car manufacturer Fisker, which declared bankruptcy in 2013. There was also Solyndra. Remember that? They had a huge like government funding or whatever, and then it just went under in like two years. Um, it was subsequently sold to China. So not only did it declare bankruptcy in 2013 after getting a fi How do you just lose $529 million? How does that not work? You, I mean, how did you miscalculate? Where did that money go? That's another question for maybe Bill de Blasio. So we see what's happening in New York. And of course, they're kind of the top of the food chain after the president is all the corruption in New York and then California. And then all the rest of the corrupt hacks fall in after that. Anyhow, 
The office was largely dormant following Fisker's taxpayer-funded failure until Biden's so-called Inflation Reduction Act funded it to the tune of more than $300 billion, with a B. Congressional Republicans such as Senator Tom Cotton warned that the money would create a green energy slush fund. Predictions that are now proving true every single thing. Of course, when you say something against them, they're going to call you a weirdo conspiracy theorist. And then it turns out to be true. And even when the news breaks that it's true, they just pretend like, eh, well, you're, you're just going to wear that. Hold that L. Because we're in control. That's what all the hypocrisy, everything, it's on purpose. Just It's a power play to prove to you, to let you know that you can't do anything about it. You play the game. If you're Jesse Smollett, you, you, you can literally walk free from jail because you know people. But if you protest the lockdown or if you try to collect on a PPP loan, you're going to jail because you didn't play the game properly. Right? They're now going to pay out BLM protesters in New York. So they arrested people, and I have mentioned this numerous times, filed a lawsuit against the mayor getting nothing. Because the corruption goes so high up, you can't get to anybody, like I always say. But if you are a protester and you are playing their game and you still manage to play that victim card, then they give you 20 grand. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe by the time this video comes out, we'll have an answer to whether those protesters, mostly peaceful protesters, got $21,000 each. But again, that is a completely different story and I'm getting off track here. Now, I don't even remember where I left off. See, I get too turned up and then lose my place. Biden's green energy giants, <laughs> scratch that. Biden's green energy grants are going to groups funded by the same people who poured money into dark money groups that helped get Biden elected. Wow. Wow, crazy. Was that maybe the cabal that fortified the election that Time magazine talked about? Is that them? Are, they, are those the same people? We don't know. In July 2021, Redwood raised $700 million from a, quote, carefully selected group of strategic investors, including Gates and Powell Jobs, who participated in the fundraising round through their investment firms. Ioneer, meanwhile, boasts Texas billionaire John Arnold as a major shareholder, according to an October SEC filing. In 2020, Gates spent $127 million, sent $127 million to a liberal dark money network, working to elect Democrats while Powell Jobs gave it to left-wing candidates and political groups more than $2 million. Arnold is also active in liberal dark money circles. He gave one such group $13.5 million from 2016 to 2020. I mean, these are things that we obviously know is happening, but we can't prove it. I can't prove it. Maybe these people have done the research and they have the paper trail, they have the receipts to prove this, but it's just... From, from the outside looking in, it's all so obvious, but it's not what you know, it's what you can prove. Shout out to Alonzo from Training Day. It's not what you know, it's what you can prove. The Energy Department did not return a request for comment. Why would they? They don't, they don't have to answer to you at all. They can lie right to your face. They can smack you right in the face, and you're still going to be the one that's in the wrong because that's the power play. That's how all of this stuff is. So, yeah, all of this, you know, Greta Thunberg, green energy nonsense is so clearly an agenda for their for their money laundering schemes and their and and you know padding their pockets it's all the same thing this is just a picture perfect example of how every single one of their talking points every single one of their agendas all basically boils down to them lining their pockets and gaining full control of you so thank you for watching please like comment share and of course subscribe